In the heart of Amsterdam stands what was once a secret meeting place. The Our Lord in the Attic Chapel was built during the golden age of Dutch power in the 17th century. Let's take a look inside and explore the history of this fascinating building. The Our Lord in the Attic Church was built in 1663 during a time of religious change in the Netherlands. Protestants were taking over power from the Catholics and all of the Catholic churches were being turned into Protestant churches under William of Orange. What this meant is that Catholics, along with other religions like Baptists and Lutherans, had to start meeting indoors in house churches because legally they were not allowed to meet publicly in Amsterdam. So that led to churches like Our Lord in the Attic being built in the city of Amsterdam. These were located all throughout the city and these were secret meeting places that Catholics could go to and still hold their church services without being persecuted by the government. The reason for this is because even though publicly the Catholics and other religions were outlawed, they could still have freedom of conscience under the Protestants, and so they were still allowed to meet as long as it wasn't in public large churches. It could be in their houses, for instance. So what this museum is, because the attic has now been turned into a museum, is the historic house that you can visit, which is fascinating, along with the top three floors of three different houses that were taken to make this large Catholic church in the attic essentially of these three houses and it's three different floors so it's really amazing you go into this house it's very small and windy you go up small staircases and things but then you get up to this attic with three floors and it's all of this space and lots of pews to sit there and enjoy the services so it's it's really fascinating how they were able to turn all this into a church so it was built in 1663 and it was used for hundreds of years until about the last half of the 19th century in about the 1880s, there was finally a Catholic church was allowed to be built again here in Amsterdam nearby. And so that kind of made this church obsolete and they didn't need it anymore. But until then, for uh, those couple of hundred years, this, this was used for meetings and they actually still hold regular masses here today if you're interested in visiting for that. A couple of tips if you are going to visit, there is a really great audio guide that I encourage you to get, but there are no earbuds included, so you might want to bring some earbuds or else you'll just listen to it on the device. Another uh, just bit of info is that tickets cost $10 normally, or 10 euros I should say, or $7.50 for students, so it'll give you a uh, price there. And it is well worth a visit, it's a fascinating look at kind of the golden age of Dutch architecture and housing. And you can see in that also the story of kind of religious tolerance or intolerance, depending on how you look at it, uh, with the, the Catholic Church and the Protestants here in Amsterdam. So I definitely encourage you to check this church out if you're ever in the city of Amsterdam. Thanks for watching.